As we know, the switch in a network will divide the collision domain, such as this one switch connected to these two devices, okay? PC1 and the PC2, okay? When PC1 and the PC2 sending and receiving data from the switch, then the switch will are stored in the memory, okay? And then when this, this link is idle, then sending out. So these two PCs, PC1 and the PC2, will not collide at any condition, okay? So each interface of the switch is a collision domain, but the switch will not filter the broadcast frames. That means when a PC1 sending out a broadcast, then this frame will flooding out all other interface. Okay, so all the PCs are in one broadcast domain. So if we want the switch to divide the broadcast domain, how can we solve this? Okay, the VLAN is the solution, okay. So in this chapter, we will discuss the basic concept of the VLAN tagging, and then discuss the different link types, and then how to configure VLANs on Huawei switch, okay. First, this is the LAN limitation. Okay, we have ever discussed that the LAN, okay, this, all these switches connect the, as a LAN. And then all the devices are connected to switch are belong to one broadcast domain. This red arrow means a broadcast frame sending out this PC. Then this PC or this frame will threading out all the other interface and then all other PCs can receive. Okay, then if we want some PCs to form one broadcast domain, that means some PCs sending out the broadcast, only some of these PCs received, and uh, others, for example, this group cannot receive the broadcast sending by this PC1. Okay, then how to solve this? We use the VLAN technology. In this VLAN technology, when these three PC form the one group and the other three PC form the another group, then one group is one broadcast domain. That means the PC in group two sending a broadcast frame, then only the other PCs in group two can receive it. And the, the PCs in group one cannot receive. Okay, that's what it means group one and the group two are different broadcast domains. Okay, this is the VLANs concept, okay. And then, how to implement VLAN? We got an improvement of the Ethernet frame, okay. This is the basic Ethernet frame, okay, basic Ethernet frame. This basic Ethernet frame, that's the source MAC address, destination MAC address, and then the type, figure out what is in the data, okay the layer three protocols and then frame checksum. Okay, this is untagged frame. And when we deploy the VLAN, we insert a tag between the MAC address and the type. Okay, this is a tag. How to use this tag? This tag is just to identify what VLAN this frame belong to, okay? This is a VLAN. Okay, VLAN ID is inserted, but we need to figure out this is a tag, not a type. So in here, there's a TPID. The value is 8100. This value, just to figure out this is a tag. In this tag, we got the VLAN ID. Okay, then figure out what this frame belong to, what VLAN this frame belong to. Of course, there's still a type to figure out what is the Data, what is the layer three protocols? And this frame is the tagged frame. If we got this type of uh, Ethernet frame, then we can support multiple VLANs on one physical link. That means, okay, for example, this is the example. For one switch, okay, then we got many PCs, okay, and uh, 
by default, these two PCs belong to one broadcast domain, okay? If we want to divide the broadcast domains, then we can divide this PC, PC1 and the PC2 are different, for example, broadcast domain 10, broadcast domain 20, okay? That's VLAN 10 and the VLAN 20. And uh, if there's another switch, if another switch, then we also have a VLAN 10 and the VLAN 20. There are the two broadcast domains, okay? And then if we want this to switch, the VLAN 10, broadcast VLAN 10 on this switch are connected to this switch. And then we, if we connect as this, then PC1, PC2, and the PC3, and the PC4. PC1 and the PC3 can communicate each other, okay? And if we want the PC2 and the PC4 to communicate each other, we also need a connection, okay? Okay, this is the basic solution, okay? But this is not a good solution. Each VLAN, we need a physical connection, okay? If we can using one physical connection and then there's many logical connection between these two switch. How to solve this? We use the target frame. To carry many VLANs from Ethernet frame on one physical link, we should use the target frame. Okay, this is the improvement of the basic Ethernet frame. Okay. Then, after this change, okay, the physical link of the switch or the interface of the switch have different types. First is the trunk interface and another is the access interface. As we know, if all the frames belong to one VLAN, one VLAN, this is the access interface, okay? In this access interface, the ether frame did not need to be tagged, okay? Because untagged, we call untagged. Because all Ethernet frames on this link are belong to one VLAN, so no tag needed. Of course, usually the PC, the host, did not support the tag. And when this link is belong to belong to two switches. Okay, and usually on this link, we need to carry more than one VLAN, okay? So, when two switch want to identify which VLAN this frame belong to, so we need a tag, use tag to identify which VLAN this frame belong to. Such link we call the trunk, okay? Call the trunk link. That means the trunk link use the tagged frame and the access links use untagged frame. Okay, this is the result, okay. And then we got another concept, port VLAN ID. Okay, as we know now, host sending and receiving frames without a tag, then how do the switch knows which VLAN this host belong to? we can configure a port VLAN ID on this interface. After we configure this port VLAN ID is three, then all the frames receiving and sending on this link is belong to VLAN three. Okay, and the other access interface is the same, same concept. And uh, this link connects the two switches. We know usually this link carrying more than one VLAN such as the VLAN 1, VLAN 2, and the VLAN 3 are all carried on this physical link. So this is a trunk link, okay? This is a trunk link, okay? So, but the trunk link also have the PVID, okay, port VLAN ID. That means this trunk link can carry in frames without a tag, and with a tag. If the frame Sending out without a tag. That means this frame belong to VLAN one. And if receiving a tag, receiving a frame without a tag, that frame 
is put into the VLAN one, also put into VLAN one. Okay, this is a VLAN port VLAN ID, the concept of port VLAN ID. It's used for the frames without a tag. Okay, either the access link or the trunk link. And by default, the switch interface are all set to ones of the PVID. The PVID of the switch or interface is set to one, okay? And then first, we got the access link, okay? The access link, we have the concept, is connected to PCs, okay? Usually is connected to PCs. And on this link, we sending and receiving untagged frames, okay? And uh, which inter interface, which VLAN, this interface belong to, is configured by the switch, the PVID. The PVID is 10, that means this interface belongs to VLAN 10, okay? And then, when this frame, untagged frame, is receiving by the switch, then switch will tag this frame with the VLAN 10, okay? And then, finding the MAC address table. Okay, the MAC address table now got the VLAN attribute. And then, find the destination MAC on the MAC address table. And only the VLAN 10, only in the VLAN 10. And then, forwarding out, okay, forwarding out on the VLAN 10. Okay, this is a destination MAC. Okay, then sending out. Of course, when sending out, this is the access interface. We are also, we are untagged. That's the tag will be stripped and then sending out. And if this interface is belong to PVID2, that's not the 10. So this frame will never forwarding out an interface belong to other VLANs. That means the VLAN 10 and the VLAN 2 is separated, okay? Is separated, okay? And uh, uh, there's an exception, there's an exception. That on untagged on access interface, the switch can receiving a frame with the tag. The tag is equal to PVID, okay? If sending a tag, is not equal to PVID, is not equal to 10, then this frame will be dropped. But if we're sending out an tagged frame with a PVID, with a tag equal to the PVID of this interface, this frame will be received by the switch. And then finding the MAC address table, okay, then sending out, okay. This is the access interface, okay. Then another interface is the trunk interface. In the trunk interface, usually the frame is sending out with the tag, okay, with the tag. In here, in this topology, the link between switch A and the switch B is the trunk link, okay? And the, the between switch and the host are access link. So when the host sending out an untagged frame, then the switch get this frame. Of course, the PVID of this interface is 10, so the switch will get the frame with, um, with target 10, and then finding the MAC address, and then finding the destination MAC, the host C, and then forwarding out on this interface. Okay, usually, usually the switch sending on trunk link with the tag, okay, but there is one exception. That's this interface sets the PVID to 10. That means when the 10, when the frame belongs to VLAN 10 is sending out this interface, then this frame will be untagged. That means with untagged frame we are sending out. And then on switch B, the PVID is also the 10. So an untagged frame received on this trunk interface we are put into VLAN 10. And then searching the MAC address with VLAN 10 attribute in switch B and then sending out. 
Of course, this access link then untagged frame is sending out. Okay, uh, this is the trunk link. And then if there's another VLAN 20, okay, then VLAN 20 is sending out to the switch, okay? The switch received an access link. This access link interface, the PVID is 10. Then this frame will be tagged as the 20, okay? Tagged as the 20 in the switch. And uh, then the switch searching in the MAC address table and then we are sending out in this trunk link. And this trunk link, the PVID is 10, not equal to 20. So the tag of 20 is carried and then sending to the switch B. And the switch B got this ether frame and see the VLAN 10. Okay, then searching the MAC address with the attribute VLAN 10 <coughs> and then sending out a certain interface. Okay, this is the how trunk interface is worked. Okay, and uh, another, on the trunk interface, there is a concept of PVRD. Also, there is a concept of the VLAN list, a VLAN list, that you must list the VLANs that are loaded to pass on this trunk link. Okay, there's a VLAN list to list all the allowed VLANs on this trunk link. Okay, this is a trunk interface. And the last port type is a hybrid interface. The hybrid interface is a, a combination of the access link and the trunk link. You can configure the hybrid, hybrid link as the access link or configure the hybrid interface as the trunk interface. Okay. For example, you can configure this interface as a hybrid and then list the untagged interface, untagged VLAN as the VLAN 10. Okay. Then all the interface received, of course, the other PVID received on this interface is configured as the VLAN 10. And then we are sending out other VLAN 10 interface. Okay. In the hybrid, we should configure three. Okay, one is the PVID, and the second is the tagged VLAN. Third is the untagged VLAN, untagged VLAN. So, on this access interface, you can configure the PVID is the 10, and the configure untagged VLAN is 10. Untagged VLAN means when sending out the frames belong to VLAN 10, then no tag is carried. PVID means when receiving a frame without a tag, then this frame belongs to VLAN 10. Okay, so this action then is equal to the access interface, okay? The access interface only needs to configure one parameter, that's the PVID, PVID, and the 10. And then the PVID says, when receiving a untagged frame, that's brown to VLAN 10. And when sending out, yeah, that's the VLAN 10 and the tag is stripped. Okay, just as the hybrid with these two parameters. And for the trunk interface, we also can configure the PVID. For example, PVID is, uh, uh, PVID is 10. And then we can configure a target list. That's a 10 and a 20. Okay, then all the frames sending out this interface, we are with tag. Okay, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, we are with tag. And uh, when receiving, okay, when receiving, also with the tag VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, we are received. If we received a frame without a tag, then this frame will belong to VLAN 10. Okay, and uh, this is just like the trunk, okay? Trunk also needed to configure two parameters. One is the PVID, and uh, another is the VLAN list. VLAN list just means the VLANs, the frames that belong to which VLAN can 
allowed to pass. Okay, this VLAN list. Of course, all this VLAN list is with tag. Okay, so the hybrid is the combination of the trunk and the access. Okay, this is a hybrid. And then when we configuring VLANs, how to assign the VLANs to the interface? And uh, usually, most conditions we use the port based. That means we just configure VLANs on this port. For example, in this example, VLAN 5, VLAN 10, then VLAN 5 belong to interface 1 and 7, and then 2 and 9 belong to VLAN 20. So these two hosts, host A and host C, uh, belong to one VLAN. That's the one broadcast domain. And uh, host B and host D belong to another broadcast domain. So when the host A is sending out a broadcast, only host C can receive. OK, host B and host D cannot receive. And uh, host B sending out the host D can receive. And uh, another two cannot receive. OK, this is port-based. And the post-based is statically configured in the port, OK? Any device connect this port then belong to certain VLAN. And uh, another solution is configured as the MAC-based. MAC-based, that means the host A and the host C. For example, host A is the address, is this address. Then when this host A connect to a switch, any interface, any interface. Then if the switch A receiving a ether frame with the source MAC address as this, okay, then this interface is belong to certain VLANs, VLAN 5. Okay, of course the C, means how's the C, also belong to certain 5, VLAN 5. What interface connected to? That's not mine. Okay, this is dynamically. That means, when the when the host send, connect to certain VLANs, certain interface, then this interface will change it to VLAN five. Also, this is VLAN ten. Okay. And uh, this is a MAC based, but uh, sometimes MAC based configuration is uh, a little complex. You need to find uh, what is the MAC address of each host. Okay. This is difficult. Okay. This is difficult. So this is a dynamically assigned VLAN. And the other is the same. The other method is the same. All decide by what is contained in the ether frame. This is based on MAC address. And this is based on IP address, OK? The source IP address. And this is based on the layer 3 protocol. The layer 3 protocol belong to IP then this frame belongs to VLAN 5. If, if layer 3 protocol is IPX, then belongs to VLAN 10. OK. And the policy based, that means you can combine all these three, OK? Combine by the layer 3 IP address and the layer 3 protocol or MAC address and so on. OK, all the interface and so on. OK, this is the policy based. It's, uh, of course, this is the most complex method. Uh, but usually, in our working network, the port-based is most widely used. OK. Then, we have discussed the concept of VLAN. We need to create VLANs. And uh, on the switch, by default, there's only one VLAN. That's the VLAN 1, OK, VLAN 1. And the O, other VLANs need to create them manually. If you want to create a VLAN 10, you can under the system view using the VLAN 10 to create. If you want to create more than one VLANs on one command, then you can use VLAN command and then the range of VLANs. Okay, two to three or two to ten. Okay, then all the VLANs between two and ten will be created. Okay. And after you create a VLAN, you can use a display VLAN to check if the VLAN is created successfully. And okay, by default, there's only one VLAN. And the old switch interface 
belong to VLAN 1, okay? And then these VLANs must be created manually, okay? And uh, by default, if the VLAN created no interface belong to this VLAN, okay? And then if, we, if you want to assign VLAN to the interface, first, you need to specify the interface types, okay? For example, this interface is a trunk, then you can specify port link type trunk, of course, under this interface, okay? Interface is view. Okay, you use interface, then this interface command to enter the interface sys view, and then using port link type trunk to specify this interface as a trunk port. And if this interface is access port, then on this interface, this link type is access. Okay, you have specified the interface type, and uh, you have not specified the VLAN. Okay, you, if you not specify, then this interface by default belongs to VLAN 1. Okay, and this interface by default, no VLANs will allow to pass on this interface. Okay, so on the access interface, okay, if you want to assign VLANs, of course, not equal to one. If it's VLAN one, you did not need to configure. Okay, it's a default. Okay, if you want to assign to VLAN two, you can use this command, port gigabit, then under VLAN two. This interface is put into the VLAN two, okay? And uh, there's another method. Under this interface, you're using the port default VLAN three. Then this interface, is put into VLAN 3. Okay, and uh, these two method, this method and this method, the effect is equal, okay? You can use either one to configure the access port, okay, to belong to certain VLANs, okay? And uh, after you assign certain VLANs, certain interface to VLANs, and then you can display VLAN to check. and uh, by default, all these interfaces are belong to VLAN 1, but now, after your configuration, then 007 belong to VLAN 2, and 005 belong to VLAN 3, okay? This is the configuration of the access port. And uh, if you want to configure the trunk port, of course, we have configured the port 001 as the trunk port, okay? And then you must configure a VLAN list to make the VLANs to pass on this trunk, okay? First, port trunk, allow pass VLAN, then a list. That's a VLAN 2 and the VLAN 3. That means VLAN 2 and the VLAN 3, these two VLAN are allowed to pass, okay? And you can also configure a PVRD, okay? PVRD on trunk port. This PVRD is VLAN 10. Okay, this is VLAN 10. But be careful. The PVRD means when sending the frame out, if the frame is belong to VLAN 10, then no tag is added. If receiving frame with VLAN 10, then no tag is added, okay? Okay, and uh, but the VLAN 3 and the VLAN 2, when sending and receiving, we are adding the tag, okay? We are adding the tag. But if the VLAN 10 is not included in the allowed VLAN list, the frame belong to VLAN 10 cannot sending out this interface, okay? So this cannot be sending out, okay, VLAN 10, okay? Uh, if you want to send out VLAN 10, you must add in VLAN 10 on this VLAN list, allow the VLAN list, okay? And uh, after you configure the trunk, yeah, then you can use the display VLAN to check. Then you can see the VLAN 1 belongs to two, two VLANs. The VLAN 2 and the VLAN 3 
are all included gigabit internet, gigabit ethernet 001. Okay, and uh, be careful the characters before interface, UT and TG. What's the meaning? They are the explanations, UT, TG, and this is UT. UT means untagged, TG means tagged. That means when the switch sending out frames on this interface, that's UT, that means untagged. That means this is belong VLAN 2, then this Ethernet frame sending out without the tag. And this is TG, that means when VLAN 2 Ethernet frame sending out this interface will with the tag, okay? And uh, this UT and the TG is the same meaning, okay? Is the same meaning. And uh, this U and uh, this U and this D means up and down, okay? This is the up and the down, okay? This interface is up and uh, this interface is down, okay? This is the configuration of the check of the trunk configuration, okay? And uh, another, the complex hybrid port. As we have discussed, hybrid can emulate the access port and emulate the trunk port. When, when configure the hybrid port as the access port, then we can see the link type is hybrid. Then the hybrid PVID VLAN 3, then hybrid untagged VLAN is 3. We can see the untagged VLAN 3, that means when this interface is sending out frames, of course, sending out with VLAN of Ground to VLAN 3, then is untagged. Okay, and uh, the PVID means when receiving a frame from this interface that belongs to VLAN 3. Okay, belongs to VLAN 3. Okay, and uh, the 007 is the same configuration. Okay, to emulate the access port. Okay, and then. If you want to configure the interface, hybrid interface, hybrid port as the trunk port, then this is the configuration. First, port link type hybrid. Then, port hybrid, tag the VLAN two and three. That means on this interface, can sending out the frame belong to VLAN two and the VLAN three. But when sending out, this frame should be tagged. Okay. Of course, also can receive. Okay, this is the hybrid interface configuration to emulate the trunk port. Okay, and uh, after configuration, we can check. Okay, check the configuration. Display VLAN, we can see the VLAN 2 and the VLAN 3. This interface is the target. Okay, and uh, this two interface is the untagged. Okay, this configuration, this result. In the previous slide, we have already checked, and uh, it's the same as the configure the interface as access in the trunk port, okay? Of course, this configuration, this is the result of the configuration of the hybrid port, okay? And then, another exception, that's the configure the hybrid. We can also configure a hybrid interface as untagged, and then, two VLANs. Okay, this is the 004 of switch B. On this interface, then, this interface belongs to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. And uh, when sending out the Ethernet frame belong to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, it's untagged, without a tag. And uh, re receiving the Ether frames on this interface, this interface, these frames are belong to VLAN 3. PVRD VLAN 3. Okay, that means the frame we are put into VLAN 3. Okay, this is the configuration, special configuration, not equal to access port and not equal to uh, trunk port. Okay, this belong to two VLANs, but with untagged. Untagged, much like the access port, but two VLANs, much like the access port, much like the trunk port, okay? And uh, after configure this, 
then and uh, VLAN, we can use display VLAN to check then under VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, the gigabit 004 or VLAN 2, okay? And uh, this is untagged, okay? So this interface can forwarding out the friends VLAN 2, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, both, okay? And, uh, but if we're receiving an untagged friend, it's belong to native VLAN. It's belong to VLAN 3, okay? This is the configuration of the hybrid VLAN. And uh, on Huawei's device, there's also another special VLAN type we call the voice VLAN. Uh, the voice VLAN, just to configure this interface, for example, this one VLAN as the voice VLAN, and uh, all the traffic belong to the voice VLAN we are forwarding first. That means the frame belong to voice VLAN have, have a higher priority, okay? And uh, this usually is using to carry the VOIP traffic. That means this traffic need a higher QS control, okay? In uh, the configuration example of the voice VLAN, first, we create VLAN 2, and then under interface, we configure this VLAN as the voice VLAN. So all the traffic belong to this VLAN will have a higher priority, okay? This is a mood, the voice VLAN, this is auto mood. And then we using the MAC address, the voice VLAN. This is the MAC address and then the mask, that means the first three bytes equal to this address. This is a VOIP IP phone, okay, IP phone. And uh, if the MAC address is this, then if the source MAC with the source MAC of this, then this frame belongs to voice VLAN. Of course, the voice VLAN is a VLAN 2. And then this frame have a higher priority. We are forwarding out first, okay? This is the voice VLAN configuration. And uh, after configuration, you can check. You can check your this command. And then we can see the voice VLAN is a two and then enabled. And uh, this interface is auto, is auto mode to put into the voice VLAN, okay? And then, uh, we got two questions. If a trunk link has a PVID is a five, and the command the port trunk allow pass VLAN is two and three, that means the PVID VLAN not included in the allowed VLAN list, okay? So, which VLAN traffic will be carried over the trunk? Of course, the VLAN two and the VLAN three can send it out and uh, can receive. But if the VLAN 5 can send it out or receive? No, okay, no. The traffic belong to VLAN 5 cannot send it out and receive on this, this interface, on this trunk port, okay? And then, what action we are taking by an access port with the PVID 2 when receiving an untagged friend? As we know, the access port can receiving untagged VLAN, untagged friend, or tag the frame. And the untagged frame if received, then this frame will be tagged with the PVID, okay? That means this frame will belong to VLAN 2 and then forwarding based on the MAC address, okay? And uh, of course, can also receive the tagged frame, but the tag can only equal to 2, okay? VLAN 2. If equal to VLAN 2, then this tag the frame will received we are accepted. And if not equal to VLAN 2, then this frame will be dropped. Okay, this is the action of the access port when receiving ether frames. Okay, 